Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. Um, so in this tutorial, we're going to be going through using the UI Image Pick Controller. So just to give you a quick um, background in what we're going to do. Um, essentially, when you create your app, you're going to be able to select a button and it's going to give you some options of saying photo library, save photo albums. And if you're using this on an actual device, it will say camera as well. So you click on it. It'll open up then the, the, the library, the photo library and so on. You can select a picture, it will display it, and then you can click remove and it will remove. The remove button is disabled, select image can be selected again, and you can select a new image. Remove, and then you can press um, the cancel button and it will remove as well. Select image, cancel and it will remove. Okay, so let's, um, let's start, shall we? Just change this back to master and then uh, this goes back to how it was. Okay, so let's just walk and talk through our um, UI design. We have a, a selected image view, which is a UI image view, which is where the image is gonna be placed. We have a select um, image button, which is gonna be used to open up the UI, UI image picker controller and also the uh, action sheet. The remove button is just a normal UI button and that's linked to remove image button and select image button is select a select image button. Um, that's all we need here. And we go over to the view controller and view controller has then um, one property here, which is then selected image. This, um, when we when you call the get on it, it will get the actual image from the, the image view down here. And when it's set, we'll check if, it's, if the new value is nil. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, remove the image from the image view and then enable the select image button and set its alpha to one. The remove button then will be disabled and the alpha will be set to 0.5. Now, if there is an image, the select image button and the select image view will be set with an image and the select image button will be disabled and alpha set to 0.5 and the re remove button will be activated, enabled and alpha set to one. So that's what's gonna happen there. Um, there we, here we have the IB outlet for the image view, the IB outlet for the select image button, and once this is set, we're gonna enable the image and the alpha is gonna be set to one. And the same is being done with the remove image button, but this time we're gonna disable it and also set the alpha to 0.5. On view did load, we're gonna set the content mode for the image view to be scale aspect fill, so it fills up the whole image view, and we're gonna enable the button based upon if the select image view, um, and actually this can change to it is uh, selected image is equal to nil. If it is nil, then the button is enabled and then we'll set the alpha to one. Here's the IB um, actions that we're gonna set up and for the remove image, it's nothing more than uh, removing the image which will then fire this um, piece of code here. Right, so um, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is um, to create the action sheet. So let's just say UI alert view controller and uh, select source type and go nil and this is going to be a action sheet and then we'll do say present uh, alerts true and I don't think we actually need this anyway okay so then we want to add um, a cancel button I always add it first of all so I don't forget And this is cancel and we'll fill out the task later. Okay, next one is going to be, um, okay, next one is gonna be based upon if um, the source is available. So we can use the image picker controller, um, is source available? And in this scenario, we're gonna use um, camera and say if the camera is available, then we're gonna do alert add image view, add uh, action, and the action will be then say, camera style is default, and then the, the actions here is add action here. And we can copy this and paste it two times. And here's gonna be then photo library. Here will be saved albums, saved albums and here will then be photo library 
nice and simple. Okay, so now we have this, our alert view controller is there and it's gonna display all of the options that we want. So let's test our app again. So, yep, we get the two options, that's perfectly fine. Okay, now we need an image view controller, an image picker controller. So we're gonna make create one at the top and this is fundamental that you save a reference to it. Okay, it's fundamental, you must. Okay, and we've got to create some delegate methods here. And so let's make an extension and we'll say image picker controller delegate. And you've also got to implement the navigation controller delegate. This comes with two methods that are important. We'll talk through these in a minute. And one is um, image picker controller did cancel. Now when it's canceled, that means that they've pressed the cancel button and we want to then reset everything that we've just done. So in this situation, um, we need to dismiss the picker first of all, because it's been presented. And once it has been um, dismissed, then we're gonna remove the delegate and we're then gonna uh, remove our image picker controller so we don't get any memory leaks and we can clean this up. Right, now if we do if we do pick an image, this is where the image is going to be sent. And um, the image will be in this side of this dictionary. So first things first, what we need to do is collect the image and we say if image, whoops, here, and we get this key and we want the original image, okay? And we have to cast this to a UI image and if not, then we're just gonna say image picker controller uh, did cancel. And so it just closes everything down here and does the default action that we want. Otherwise, we're gonna say um, selected image equal to image, all right? And then we need to say um, picker dismiss, true. And we're all happy, so we want to know that we're going to um, do a little bit of cleanup with our picker as well, remove the picker and then remove this too. All right, so this is our cleanup. Um, and once we're done here, we need to be able to call it three times, all right, based upon it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a helper method for this, which will be uh, present image picker. And we'll say controller. So UI image picker controller, and we'll say then a source type as well for it. And um, we'll say that the, the controller delegate is equal to self, the controller source type is equal to source, whoops, is equal to source, and then we can then present, present our controller as well. And we don't need a completion handler, in my opinion. Okay, um, and then all we have to do is come in here and say present image picker controller and force unwrap this and say camera, copy, paste, paste, paste paste there and we are basically done. Apart from an error, which is what? <clears throat> oh yeah, pick up, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so select an image, photo library saved albums, that's we've had already. Uh oh, oh shit, yeah. Okay, obviously we need to actually um, create the image picker controller. Now, in order to do this, we want to check is it, uh, if it's not equal to nil for some reason, then the image picker controller delegate is gonna be nil and we're gonna reset the actual image picker controller and then we're gonna create a new one. Whoops. Like this. Okay, that's better.
Okay, select image from photo library. This opens up, we can select an image and then it's there. Okay, we can select remove, select image again from saved albums, select the image and it's there, remove it, select image, cancel, it's gone. Select image, photo library, cancel, it's gone. Select image, saved albums, cancel, it's gone. And we're done, okay? This alert action, you could actually just pretty much go like this and then, whoops. Get rid of that, I believe. Should work fine as well, because we don't need it. And this could be just to clean this up as well. Yeah. Okay, it's all working. All right, um, one thing to note is that you will need um, to put the NS usage description um, in your P list if you're going to use the camera. So this means that you're going to have to um, come to your P list here. And I always seem to like to do it this way. So we say key here is this. And string um, our application requires your camera so that you you can upload nice photos to our community or something, all right? Um, you, you've got to write a meaningful description in here, otherwise Apple will um, refuse your app when you send it, okay? So you've got to t ask, tell the user why you're going to need it, and this will get presented to the user uh, upon that. So it's, it's worthwhile just adding it anyway. And it's not going to happen here because you don't need um, permission to access the, the photo library. That's all okay. All right, that's it. I hope that this has been um, this been useful. Um, all of this code is in my GitHub repository, which I will leave a link in the um, description. Um, please comment if there's anything that you're unsure about or you didn't like, or some ideas that you think that how I should extend this. Um, press the like the the, the thumbs up um, button. Press the thumbs down button if you don't like it. But comment please to tell me what you didn't like. Um, subscribe as well because I'm making lots of videos and it's helpful to push the notification button in the events um, that you don't then you don't miss out on any new videos that I'm making. Um, I thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time and I hope that you've learned something ultimately. Um, I wish you a nice evening and good, good night.